to assist in the speedy administration and dispensation of justice in the country. President Muhammad Buhari on Monday called on judicial officers to work towards the creation of special courts. Speaking in Abuja at the opening ceremony of the 2019 Biennial All Nigerian Judges Conference of Superior Courts, President Buhari advised the conference to consider creating an effect effective structure for the proposed special crimes courts or the urgent designation of existing courts as special courts with competent and credible judicial officers. According to the president, this would help remove administrative bottlenecks in the judicial process. The president, who made this known, said he is aware of the challenges facing the judiciary, having had discussions with the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed. Buhari, however, stressed that the constitutional mandate to check and balance government powers among the three arms of government creates the environment for continuous constructive engagement and as such, judges should use the opportunity of the conference to reaffirm their constitutional role as the ultimate arbiters on constitutional and social issues. Joining us in the studio is a legal practitioner, Jide Ulogun, to shed more light on this. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. What's your take on special courts as being advocated by the president? It, it's a good advocacy, but personally, I believe we have enough courts in Nigeria to handle the issues we have if we are diligent and deliberate about it. What we probably need to do is to ensure that the infrastructure enhancement is, is put in place and that we review the operational element also. Because, I mean, this is how we came up with the special agencies, EFCC, ICPC, and all of them. And sometimes it's like we are duplicating some of the uh, duties that have been assigned to a particular agency. And I recall that in 2015, some Nigerians were driving the advocacy, particularly when the major promise of the government was to fight corruption. Okay, set up courts. But it wasn't an issue that flew then. So why it's coming up now is what I don't know. So within the existing courts, probably some can be set aside to attend to some special cases. But if you ask me from what we have seen in the country in recent times, I'm not sure we are really serious to fight corruption at that level or fight crime. And I have my reasons for saying that. And I can point to some specific uh, examples in the country. And if you don't mind, let me start with the 2019 election. Almost all the electoral offenses were committed during the election, from ballot, box snatching, different kinds of violence, and who has been brought to justice. The most recent one uh, were the elections in Kogi and Bayesa that witness a, a hyper level of violence. Even after the election, a woman leader of the opposition party was, was killed. And even though the president has given an instruction that the perpetrators be brought to justice, the report reaching us is that the suspects that were arrested, I think it's only one that, is, that may be connected, despite the, the evidence narratives that can help us. And again, to buttress my point, you recall that concerning Kogi State, the Inspector General of Police embarrassed us by telling the world that fake policemen overwhelmed the real policemen. And I think if we have come to this point as a nation, it's worrisome. And what it tells me by way of suspicion is that we are not deliberate about enforcing the laws about fighting crime in the nation. Uh, you talked about the creation of the EFCC and other special courts in the past, and in your opinion, they have not been as effective as they ought to have been. What are the chances that even if you create special courts, as is being advocated, however you create it, whether you create it brand new or you create it from existing structure, will be effective in tackling the corruption charges that, I mean, um, cases that are pending? And I, that, that's what I just said now. And I think at a time in the United States of America, what a president did, talking about the laws, was to tell the 
people that, hey, we are going to reduce the number of laws we have, but whatever we trim down to, we must implement. And that is why that society is regulated. But the reverse appears to be the case in our own country. And it's not just about creating the special courts, but allowing them to function. You may quickly take me up on the concept of separation of powers, but how separated are the powers in Nigeria from what we have seen on ground? You saw what you saw the stampeding that happened, which led to the ousting of the former Chief Justice of the Supreme Court and all the circumstances surrounding it. You know, so when, when you come to this point where it appears that political interest is overrunning the systemic operations in the country, then you can be worried. If we like, we can create as many uh, courts, new courts as we want. But do we really want justice? You know? So how, how can we address this bottlenecks, so to speak, in the judicial let process there be that effectiveness. is making let, it crawl. Let there be effective, effectiveness. How? Let there be justice. And again, I just spoke about infrastructure. As a lawyer myself, I know how overwhelmed some judges are. But some may be quick to say, ah, yeah, because of the number of cases we have. But because, in reality, quite a number of these judges are encumbered because of the state of the economy with other businesses which may not even, we should not be. So they hardly find time to concentrate like what we used to have in the past. We've been in court sometimes when suddenly electricity will go. How do you want the judge to operate in such an environment? And probably the person who is supposed to buy diesel for the generator. So we, we need to look at all these things and try to find out how it operates in other climes. I made reference to the case of the former governor of, of Delta State, Ibori, who escaped all the long arms of the law in Nigeria. But he was arrested, taken to the UK, and the, the matter then crawl in the court. He was jailed for 13 years. So we need to look at our governance mindset, the values we have as a people. I mean, I'm particularly worried at a very current report now which is that the Attorney General of the Federation pre is preventing the EFCC from prosecuting the former Controller General of Customs on, on, on a scam uh, prosecution because there's an agreement between the federal government and this accused person. So these are all the elements. So when we become deliberate and we seek to implement the laws and allow justice, with the structures we have on ground, we can be effective.